Hello everyone. So in this video, I will be going through how to set up simple search on your Flutterflow app. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First, we need to create our search bar. Let's add container with row and text field. Let's make our container a little bit wider and adjust the height a little bit. After that is done, we want to put row inside the container. And after that, we are going to put text field and icon button in the row. There we go. Now I'm going to add little bit padding to my text field and also change the icon to clear icon. Also, let's switch this hint text to search. Perfect. Let's add another row to this page with some text in it. The idea behind this is that we can show how many search results we have. I'm going to change these texts so it will look better on user interface. Bit more padding and we are done with this step. Now we are quite ready with the user interface. It's time to query your collection to the page. Click on add query and query your collection where you have the documents that you want to search. Switch this to list of documents and you can choose the order by however you like. And for this tutorial, I'm going to pick topic. Okay, so after that step, click on your text field and enable autocomplete. I'm also going to disable autofocus because it's super annoying. Now we are ready to get some data to our app. Click on your list view and press generate children from variable. Give your variable a name and generate from collection where you want to apply the search. Now we can start to bind data to our container. For this example, I'm going to add in here our blog post topic and also who is the poster. Perfect. After those steps, we need to create app state variable that indicates if the search is active or not. Click on add app state variable, give your app state a name, switch the data type to Boolean and click on create. Now after that, click on your list view, click on add conditional visibility. Go to app state and choose the variable that you just created. After that, you need to click the visibility again and enable apply opposite statement. Next step is that we need to set up action to our page. Click on create action button and on the page load, we want to update our created app state variable to false. After that, click on your text field, switch the action to on change, add new action, and add simple search to this widget. Search type will be documents. Choose your collection and pick your searchable fields. After that, the value is going to be our widget state and our text field. We are going to add one more action to this chain, click update app state, and we want to set the value to true. Perfect. Now click on your list view and duplicate it. We are going to pick the bottom one of the list views and remove the opposite statement. 
We may also rename this list view. Great. Now after this step, we want to change our children from variable in to a simple search results. Now let's set up action to our icon button. We want this icon button to do two things. First, clear the text field. And for the second part, update our app state to false. Let's do this quickly. We may also add data to the search results counter. The variable is going to be search results and in here, choose number of items. Now once more, click on your text field. Scroll a bit down until you find your autocomplete option. Click it and choose your collection. Pick document property and choose what you want the text field to suggest. Now the autocomplete is ready. Now the last step is that we need to add navigation and parameters for both of these containers. I'm going to skip this part since most of you know how to do it. Also, I have video where I explain how parameters work. And for the last step, let's update these so we can test our app. Great, I have all of my documents in here. Let's try to search for something. The search and the autocomplete works perfectly. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like these. Also, I would love to hear from what should I cover next. I see you in my next video.